Welcome to a fairly exciting, actually a really exciting NCIX PC episode. This is the NCIX PC AI2, or All Intel 2, and the concept is this is the same machine that NCIX is giving away as part of the Intel sweepstakes, but with a twist. Like, whew. It's horizontal instead of vertical. It uses a half XB instead of a half XM, so it's all like, getting low. So the main concept here is it's an all Intel system equipped only with the latest from the blue team and made complete by enthusiast class hardware from ASUS and it's got kind of an unorthodox shape for both functionality and outstanding looks. In addition to being lower to the ground for stability, it also acts as a convenient table. Say for example, if uh, we had to film this video and I wasn't quite done eating my pot pie just yet, I could be like, okay, yeah, sorry, you gotta take a bite here. Oh, look at that. I have somewhere to put it. It also comes with a ton of free games. So we'll start as usual with a tour of the outside of the system. This is the Half XB Evo, and it starts at the front with two five and a quarter inch bays, two. Whoa, there's a hard drive in there. Yeah, two hot swappable three and a half inch cages, two USB 3 ports, front audio with headphone and microphone, as well as a reset switch and a power switch. You've also got room for two 120 millimeter fans right there in the front of the case. And because it's a half style case, that is not the only ventilation you're gonna find on it. On the right hand side, we've got more ventilation. This is next to the CPU socket area, as well as these convenient handles for carrying the system around. They're actually extremely robust, even though this system isn't particularly small and can actually accept an ATX motherboard, it's still relatively easy to move around because of those handy dandy handles. On the left hand side, more ventilation. This is next to the PCI Express slot area, so you're gonna get a little bit of passive air intake or exhaust next to your graphics card or cards. On the bottom we find not a whole lot of note other than a quickly removable and cleanable fan filter under the power supply area and some nice robust rubber feet. Actually something that I noted the first time I saw the Half XB, the original non-Evo one, was that the build quality of it is surprisingly rugged for the price. On the back we find a 120 millimeter fan mount that has a radiator in it at the moment, as well as a bulge. That's what I like to call power supplies that stick a little bit out the back. This gives you a little bit of extra room internally for longer power supplies or modular cable interfaces. Two 80 millimeter fan mounts, neither of which are being used. These are mostly for cooling the hard drive cage inside. And then seven PCI slots. I.O. is provided by an ASUS Z87 motherboard with six USB 3.0 ports, a PS2 combo mouse or keyboard port, wireless antennas. So yes, wireless is included with the system as well as Bluetooth. HDMI, DisplayPort, DVI, and VGA outputs if you did want to use the onboard video, as well as optical audio out, gigabit ethernet, and 7.1 analog audio out. Finally at the top, ugh, you can see the enhanced cooling and lighting. So there are BitPhoenix lighting supplies all over this system with a sort of unique contrasting color scheme that gives it a very sort of red and blue slash purple look. I'm just describing what you guys are looking at. You can see how cool it looks. And a 200 millimeter Cooler Master Mega Flow fan that is carrying air away from all the heat generating components inside and blowing it out the top. Goodbye heat, goodbye, goodbye. So opening this bad boy up is actually a little bit on the, uh, well, it's not challenging, I guess. Okay, so there are six thumb screws. I guess that's challenging if you have trouble removing thumb screws. And you slide each of the pieces back. You can see this uh, fan has to be unplugged in order to take the top apart. Slide the two side pieces off. And yeah, okay, that wasn't challenging at all. Once we're inside, you can see the robustness of those handles. They're actually plastic handles and then they're reinforced by a fold in the middle right here. That really does make them very strong. I cannot emphasize that enough. And now we have access to the internal. So you can actually see if we were to tip this on its side, what Cooler Master's done here is created a very unique zone structure where all of your heat generating components for your actual system, so your CPU, 
you. That's a liquid-cooled Intel Core i7-4770K right there with the official Intel liquid cooler on it using a 120 millimeter fan here at the back of the case that I showed you before, as well as 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance memory that's clocked at DDR3-1600, and a SUS P87, or P87, Z87 Pro motherboard supporting SLI and Crossfire, whatever you would prefer, and a SUS GeForce GTX 780 Direct CU2. This is one of the best choices for a graphics card on the market. It's not going to be quite the, you know, FPS per dollar as some of the lower end options, but it delivers a truly high-end gaming experience because it's got a GK110 core inside without having quite the same premium that you'll pay for the TI version, so it's a great choice. Storage is taken care of by Intel's all-new 730 series SSD, so there's a 240 gig drive in there, and that's uh, tucked right there in the bottom behind where those cooling vents are that I showed you at the back and we buy a Seagate 2 terabyte SSHD because the NCIX PC team figures at this point for the small incremental charge on an SSHD versus a regular hard drive it is a very compelling choice to get that extra speed boost that you otherwise would not have. Next up, we've got the power supply, which is a Seasonic G Series 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply. If you did want to go SLI with those GTX 780s, you might want to upgrade to an 850 or something like that, but this gives you a lot of room to grow in terms of adding other expansion cards, uh, more RAM, more drives, or whatever else the case may be. Then also at the front, we have an Asus Blu-ray reader slash DVD rewriter, and last but not least, the system comes with Windows 8.0. Now on to the freebies. I mentioned free games before, but I didn't tell you what was included. Assassin's Creed 4, Splinter Cell Blacklist, Total War Rome 2, Daylight, $150 worth of in-game currency for House of New Earth, Path of X-File, and X-Files. <laughs> Path of Exiles, that would be a great game. Path of Exile and Warface, that is $325 total based on pricing on Steam at the time of filming. So that wraps up this week's NCIX PC, which you can win something very similar to, or you can oh, own one for yourself, even if you don't win. Not to mention it makes a great like lifting apparatus. Don't tell the Russian I did that with his system. He might be weirded out. Don't miss any videos just like this one or other videos with great tips and tricks and all that kind of great stuff from NCIX.com by making sure you are subscribed to this channel right here. I mean, you could subscribe to other channels too, but, but this one's really important.